Many of the people we see live in households with very low income. Most of them um, rely on grants or people or other relatives who send them money. So most of them work irregular jobs. For them, a trip to the clinic uh, potentially means losing one day of pay. So if they are able to get the medicines closer to home, it would make a huge difference in their lives. As Doctors Without Borders, we take both the DOH as well as the communities hand in hand. We help them to identify a strategic place and then we also identify and capacitate the already established CCMDD system that is working here. The Doctors Without Borders that I am about to meet, they are doing quite a lot, especially in terms of the decentralization of the distribution of chronic illness medicine for our chronic patients. So we are excited. Uh, they are doing a lot of work. It, it's one thing that is really helping us as a department because some people come to hospitals only to, to pick up medicines. Whereas if we continue to decentralize and try to get other areas where we can distribute. Uh, um, I even said when I was talking to the Premier that we must engage traditional leaders, we must engage municipalities so that we expand our pickup points. The non-communicable diseases that we are looking at is mainly hypertension, diabetes, mental health. And with this project, we aim to reduce the number of people that end up going to health centers and make it possible for them to get medication closer to their homes. You see the, the number that they, that they brought out today. It shows that there's a willingness to be adherent to their treatment. There's a willingness to comply with, you know, the, 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 the health. There's a willingness to be responsible for their own health. So the plus for us is that we get to give them the services that they really, really need. People with chronic conditions, hypertension, diabetes, most of these are elderly people. Most of them end up in hospitals with strokes, with myocardial infarctions or heart attacks, with amputated leg. And this is what we aim to prevent with our initiative with the Department of Health and NCDs, as well as with the external pickup points. We've had an amazing day, it was a good turnout. We've seen more than 200 patients in one day. The impact is that they do not have to feel like they are so far and they're not cared for. Because when you're this far from a clinic, it doesn't feel like somebody cares about you. I appreciate what uh, Dr. Godbrothers did to uh, my palace. My people, they travel to Tafalof Hospital to face only treatment. From here to hospital, it costs at least 150 rand. So it's, it's a huge, huge relief. I will say thank you.